Hello! Welcome to Storytime Spotlight. My name is Andrea and I work at the St. Anthony Park Library. Today I'm going to share with you two of my favorite stories and then I'm going to share with you a fact about myself. The first story I'm going to read is called Step Gently Out. It's written by Helen Frost with photography by Rick Leader and the publisher is Candlewick Press. Step gently out. Be still and watch a single blade of grass. An ant climbs up to look around. A honeybee flies past. A cricket leaps and lands, then sits back and sings. A moth flies in and comes to rest with open wings. A spider spins a silken thread and steps across the air. A praying mantis looks at you. Do you know she's there? Balance lightly on a leaf, bathed in golden light. Flashing, look, I'm over here, as evening turns to night. The creatures shine with stardust. They're splashed with morning dew. In song and dance and stillness, they share the world with you. And that was Step Gently Out. My second story is called Daniel Finds a Poem. And it's written and illustrated by Mitcha Archer. Published by Nancy Paulson Books, an imprint of Penguin Random House. Daniel knows all the rocks, trees, and animals in the park. On Monday morning, Daniel sees something new on the park gate. A sign reads, Poetry in the Park, Sunday at 6 o'clock. What is poetry? Daniel says. Do you know what poetry is? Maybe we'll find out. He looks up in surprise when he hears Spider say, To me, poetry is when the morning dew glistens. On Tuesday, Daniel climbs up the old oak tree. He sees Squirrel. Squirrel? Do you know what poetry is? Poetry is when crisp leaves crunch, Squirrel tells him.
On Wednesday, Daniel calls into the chipmunk's hole. Chipmunk, can you tell me what poetry is? On Thursday, Daniel makes a boat with a leaf for a sail and watches the wind carry it across the pond. He calls quietly to Frog. Excuse me, Frog? What is poetry? Poetry, says Frog, is a cool pool to dive into. On Friday, Daniel parts the cattails and finds Turtle. Hello, Turtle. I have a question. Do you know what poetry is? I think poetry is sun-warmed sand, Turtle says. On Saturday afternoon, Daniel finds Cricket in the shade of the slide. When the shadows are long, Cricket fills the air with music. Is this poetry to you, Cricket? Sing at the twilight when the day is done. Indeed it is, Daniel. That night, moonlight fills Daniel's room. He hears a whoo. Leaning in from his window, he calls to Owl. Owl, what is poetry? Oh, poetry. Poetry is bright stars in the branches. Moonlight on the grass, and silent wings to take me wherever I go. Good night, dear Daniel, she whispers, and flies off into the night. On Sunday, the sun wakes up Daniel. He is happy when he remembers it's Sunday. Today is poetry in the park says Daniel, and I have a poem. What do you think he's going to write? Morning dew glistens. Crisp leaves crunch. There's a home with many windows in the old stone wall. Cool pools to dive in. Sun warmed sand to lie in, singing at twilight when the day is done. Bright stars in the branches, moonlight on the grass, and silent wings to take me wherever I go. On the way home, Daniel stops to watch the sunset sky reflecting in the pond. That looks like poetry to me. To me, too, says Dragonfly. All right. And that was Daniel Finds a Poem, my last book. Hooray. I hope you liked the stories I read to you today. Now, I will share with you a fact about myself. I love music. I love all kinds of music. I love to play music. I love to watch people play music. I love to listen to music everywhere I go. Do you like music? 
Do you have a favorite song? If, if you don't really like music, what do you like to do? Do you like to dance? Do you like to go for walks? Do you like to draw? I'd love to hear what you like to do. And last but not least, I brought for you today to show you my headphones. I love listening to my headphones because they allow me to listen to music very clearly and they put me in a great mood. Uh, if I've had a bad day, it makes my day pretty good. And if I've had a good day, listening to my headphones makes it even better. So thank you so much for joining me today and listening to my stories. Bye-bye.